Well, now that we've looked at the connectors and controls of your audio interface, we need to get it to talk to Reaper. But before we can do that, we need to get your interface talking with your computer. For most audio interfaces, you'll need to install special software called a driver, and we'll walk through that process in just a second. Unless your audio interface's instruction manual tells you otherwise, don't plug in your audio interface just yet. That's because in some cases, that can mess up the installation process. So it's better to start this whole process without having your audio interface plugged in. Now, where do we get the driver software for your audio interface? Well, most audio interfaces come with the software on a CD, but I recommend instead going to the manufacturer's website, finding the product webpage, and downloading the latest driver for your operating system. That way you'll know for sure you've got the latest version. For this example, I'm going to download and install the drivers for the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. I'm at the Focusrite website, and I'm on the download page for the Scarlett 2i2. I'm going to download the Windows drivers here. Now that I've downloaded the driver, what next? Well, we need to run the exe file and follow our noses through the installation process. So let's go to our downloads folder. Here we are. So we'll double click and we'll just follow the process. This is the setup wizard. We're just going to click next. This is just asking where to install the files. We just leave this as is. Again, just leave this screen as is as well. And we'll click Install. Now click Next. And everything's good to go. We've got a nice green check mark here. We know we're done. We hit Finish. And Finish. We can close this now. This process might look a bit different depending on your audio interface. So you've installed the drivers for your audio interface which means that now our audio interface should be able to talk to our computer. If you haven't already been instructed to plug in your audio interface, now's a good time to go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to plug mine in now. Next thing we need to get our audio interface to talk to Reaper. So let's launch Reaper. Now this time, when we see the Select Audio Interface dialog, we're going to click Yes. We're also going to open up our most recent project. In this case, for me, it's Yorkshire Lady. After clicking Yes on the Select Audio Interface dialog, this opens Reaper's Audio Device Settings Preference window. If the Select Device Audio dialog box didn't pop up for you, you can open Reaper's Preferences by pressing Control P. And then on the left-hand side, go down to Audio and then click on Device. Now, this is where we tell Reaper where to look for our audio inputs and where to send our audio outputs. First thing we need to do on a Windows system is choose the audio system we're going to use. Now, the driver you install for your audio interface will most likely show up under the ASIO audio system. So let's look there first. To find your driver, just click on this first drop down menu and look for the name of your interface. If you can't find your interface listed here, you can check under the other audio options, but most of the time it will be listed under the ASIO audio system. If you've checked all the options and you still can't find your audio interface listed, quit Reaper and restart your computer. If you've restarted and you still can't find your audio interface listed here, try re-downloading and reinstalling the driver. In most cases, restarting fixes the problem. So now we see the audio interface we want to choose from the list, and in my case it's the Focusrite USB 2 audio driver. The next thing you want to make sure of is making sure Enable Inputs is checked. Next you need to choose the first and last inputs and outputs. So in this case, because our audio interface only has two inputs, input number one is first and input number two is last. You can just see from these drop downs here. Same thing with the output. We want output number one and output number two. If we were using an audio interface with four inputs, then input number one would be our first and input number four would be our last. So let's click OK. Now our audio interface is ready to use with Reaper. If you happen to unplug your audio interface and forget to plug it back in when you start Reaper, you're going to get an error message. Don't panic, just close the window, plug in your audio interface and restart Reaper and you'll be fine. So now we're ready to start our first recording project.